I didn't think there was a way in the world the Buccaneers could win this game. The architect is John McKay. Let's go to John, who's with Irv Cross right now. Irv? Get them all together, David. Get them all together. <laughs> Red, Coach McKay down here is giving instructions to his ball club. He hasn't had a chance to talk to them yet. You have to be the happiest man here in Tampa Bay, Coach. Well, I am. I'm happy for our team. They played well, and Philadelphia played well, and we, we outlasted them, I guess, sir. Well, apparently you knew something nobody else did. Earlier in the week you said uh, it may be a low-scoring game, but we're going to win it. Uh, why did you feel so confident coming into this game? Well, I thought we could run on them, and, and, and we did run on them. Bell had a magnificent day, and uh, we got a few injuries. Our offensive line had to take some people out, but I thought we could maintain the ball, and Philadelphia played well, and as the guy said, we played a little bit better. <laughs> well, you talk about injuries in the offensive line. Hannah was one of your big guys at right tackle, and Carlton filled in for him. Obviously, he must have done a good job for you today. Is that right? Well, we had to take him out. He got a pulled hamstring, and we put a guard in there, Darrell Austin, and then Horton, our other guard, went down, and so I almost went in and played guard myself. <laughs> you know, the Eagles have had a lot of success during the season containing opponents. You ran well to the outside. How were you able to break down their defense? Well, I think we got good speed to our outside, uh, and we're not uh, all inspiring inside. We run enough inside, but our main idea is, is to try to get outside of your uh, perimeter and, and put the pressure on them. And I think Williams, with the exception of one pass, had, did a mar marvelous job for us. It allowed us to do other things. Coach, congratulations. 24-17, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers now take a next step to the playoffs. Let's go back to Brent Musburger.